This is a demo of the eWeb Renter. We are on the home page. From the home page, I can view the calendar, I can make a reservation, I can look at reports, email. So right now, I have a customer that's called me on the phone and he would like a Class A going out from October 1st until October 11th. Now that gives me the units that I have available. I do not have a Class A. I have C's and I have 31 foot C's. So he also said that he's going 2,000 miles. So I'll now add that and it will recalculate. And I give him the price that I have a 31 foot and it's roughly $3,128.56. Doesn't have the security deposit in it. But he says, okay, that sounds good. So now when I look at my Class C's, I see that certain units have been out a lot more than others. So we're going to use fun times because that one hasn't been out as much. And normally we would go to add a new customer if this was new, but for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to grab someone here. And I have this person and I'm going to say yes and now my rental form comes up and I am telling the customer we have 10 days and how much his mileage is going to cost and, and so forth and he says okay uh, can you send me paperwork and I said sure so I'm going to put myself down here as agent and I'm going to go to quote and I'm going to do a generate email and I'm going to send this email to Melissa then it will tell me the email was sent successfully and I say okay so now if I go to the email log I see that I sent Melissa an email if I click on it I will get what I sent out to her and the attachments so I can see what I sent. So all good to go. Now the customer calls back in a few and I can go into my rental lookup. I'll go to my quotes and I see there's Melissa so I'm going to double click on her and that brings me up the quote and now I'm going to make a reservation out of it. So once I book it it can no longer be used. It's taken out of the rental fleet. She's going to give me a thousand dollars for the security deposit. We're going to say we're doing her credit card. The credit card is in there so we click on it and we see that there's been a payment received. So then I could go back into my emails and send her rental contract which she would then sign and return and I'd go through the generate email again and it would go out to her. So that's basics on making a reservation from the check availability tab. <music>